Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we're going to take a look at delivery optimization in Windows 10 for your Windows updates, and more. Keep watching to find out why you should change it. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at delivery optimization in Windows 10. You're probably wondering, what the heck is that? Well, as we all know, there are Windows updates, which are quite a regular occurrence in uh, Microsoft Windows these days. Generally, you get once a month, and also you get the periodical updates to the new feature sets, etc. And some of these new updates can be quite large in size, up to two gigabytes, sometimes less, sometimes slightly more, depending on what is actually included in the update. Now, all this bandwidth, which is needed by your computer, so if you're a home user and you've got maybe laptops, desktop PCs, various other devices, or if you're in an office environment and there's an absolute ton of Windows 10 PCs all trying to do updates at the same time, it can absolutely hammer your bandwidth. And if it does it whilst you're working or you're trying to work on something mission critical, such as uh, some sort of live stream, teleconference, that kind of thing, it can really reduce your bandwidth on the network. So today we're going to take a look at ways of reducing that and making the delivery optimization work for you. Okay, so on your Windows 10 device, now this works in Windows 10 Home or Professional, all you need to do is click on your start flag, go to the settings cog, and in settings, go to update and security. And as you can see already, there's updates available. So we're gonna ignore that for now, but it is actually pending a download. So what you can do in this section is to choose your advanced options. And in advanced options, you've got all these things you can change. So receive updates for other Microsoft products, etc. Uh, you can choose to turn these on or off entirely how you wish to do. Uh, update notifications can be useful as well. You can turn that on or off. I ch choose to turn it off just so I don't get these uh, pop-ups whilst recording videos. You can also choose your uh, updates to be paused and when they're installed, all that kind of stuff. But if you look at the very bottom here, we've got a section called delivery optimization. So we're going to click on that one. And this is where we can configure our delivery optimization or our Windows updates optimization. Now this is actually for both Windows updates, any product with or application from the Microsoft Store, and basically is allowed to change configuration settings to do it either quickly, slowly, reliable, however you want to do it. So let's go through some of the settings. So first of all, we've got to uh, allow downloads from other PCs. Now personally, because we've got quite a few PCs here at Mike's Unboxing, it actually does save bandwidth externally to actually download partial updates from other PCs on the local network. You can also, if you choose to, if you're a standalone user, you can use it for PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet. But for privacy concerns, I would suggest maybe selecting just PCs on my local network. If you're in a network where you're not entirely trusting of some of the machines, you can turn that off altogether. So your downloads will purely and simply only come from Windows updates itself via the internet. I'm going to leave that on in this particular instance. And what we're going to do now is go into advanced options. So this is where it gets really interesting. So this is our download settings. So these are the defaults now. So if you're having a download which is happening in the background, so say you're working on a Word document or you're on the internet or you're doing something, that is how much of your total bandwidth that Windows will allow to download the updates in the background. If you're running Windows Update in the foreground, it will use 90% in the background, 45%. So if you've got a lot of PCs or you're finding issues with bandwidth, what you can do is click on these boxes and you can reduce it. So if you're not particularly interested in the updates and you don't want them taking up your bandwidth, you can reduce this slider right down to 5%. This will allow multiple PCs to all download the updates in the background without really hammering your bandwidth. But if you leave this, you can set this to either 100% or 95% or just leave it at 90. 90 seems to be a pretty decent number. So if you're actually really desperately trying to get that download and you really want to do that Windows update and you've got the Windows update in the foreground on your window or at the front, then it will take up to 90% of your available bandwidth. So that will get the job done quickly. But if you're not particularly bothered, this will make it as slow as possible therefore reducing the strain on the rest of your system and also strain on the rest of your home or business network. Also, we've got the section for upload settings. So this is to limit how much bandwidth is used for uploading updates to other PCs on the internet. 
and you can choose a monthly limit or whatever. I've got these left off because we don't want to upload to other PCs. So we can set that to uh, just leave that, ignore it altogether. Or if you, again, if you do want to help upload Windows updates to other PCs, you can set a particular limit. So you just click on there and you can maybe turn that down to 10% because you don't want to give too much bandwidth away. And you can set a monthly upload limit. So if you're on a capped system, um, you can reduce that right down to five gigabytes to really reduce it just so you're doing a little bit to help. Again, you can configure this however you want up to a total of 500 gigabytes, which is uh, <laughs> quite a considerable amount. So again, if you don't want to have upload settings, you can just disable that altogether and leave it as it is. Also, if you're uh, interested to see what your actual activity is like as it comes to uploads and downloads, you can click on the activity monitor and then this will give you an idea of what's happened. So our download statistics since the 1st of the 5th, which is the first month, it does it on a monthly cycle. So from Microsoft was 97.2% of which was 781.4 megabytes, which actually is quite a lot. So from other PCs on the local network, we've downloaded only 3%, which is 24 megabytes, which isn't a great deal, but uh, every little helps, especially again, if you're on a capped or metered lim limited internet connection. And for those who are slightly more cautious about what you download from anything on the internet or from other PCs on the internet, although this is a very trustworthy thing, but as you can see, I've got 0.00% from PCs on the internet. So it looks like we're not connecting or sharing or being shared onto the internet. And there we go, our upload statistics obviously reflects what else has uh, been gone on. So 10% has been uploaded to other PCs on our network and to PCs on the internet we're NA because we've uh, not got it enabled. So there we go, there is Activity Monitor. Again, you can find it in the Windows settings in the Update and Security section. And as you can see now, I've got updates available. So I'm gonna hit download and we'll get that going and see how the latest update goes. Okay, so there you go, there are some options for you in the delivery optimization setting in Windows Update. Is this something you can use yourself? Is it gonna be useful to you? If it is gonna be useful, don't forget to give the video a like and maybe click on the subscribe icon and also the chime icon so you get notified of future content releases. So, any comments or questions, stick them in the box below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next Windows update. Thanks for watching.